Today we are going to discuss Baccarat. Uh, it's a very simple game, but one that is often misunderstood. I really enjoy this game, and I've had some big wins on it over the years. Uh, Baccarat can be seen in high limit rooms of most casinos, and I've seen max bets as high as 50000 per hand. So the object of Baccarat is to get as close to a 9 as possible. Getting a 9 is the best number that you could get. Basically, 9 is to Baccarat what 21 is to Blackjack. Um, unlike the game of Blackjack, there is no dealer hand in Baccarat. Instead, there are two sides that can be bet on. Uh, these are called the player bet and the banker bet. The banker has a slight edge over the player, which I will explain later in the video. Um, but one of the nice things about Baccarat is that unlike a lot of table games, there really is no decision to be made after you place your bet. You simply pick a side, the uh, player or the banker, and hope to win. So I find this game to be uh, quite relaxing compared to some other table games uh, that I play. Um, so the value of the cards in Baccarat is as follows. Um, numbered cards are worth their corresponding value, so what the number says on the card. Aces are worth one, and all face cards are worth zero. Um, so if the total value of the cards exceeds a 10, the total value of the cards actually reduces as if the 10 was zero, as if 10 was zero. So for example, uh, if you have a two and a three, uh, the total is five. However, if you pull an additional seven, uh, instead of the total being 12 in Baccarat, the total reduces to two. All right, so the game starts with two cards being dealt. Uh, if the total of the first two cards is an eight or a nine total, uh, this is known as a natural, and the game is automatically over. So a natural eight or a natural nine is kind of like a blackjack, but there isn't any extra payout for hitting it. It just means that the game is over. So if you're betting the player side and a natural nine is hit, um, you automatically win unless the banker also got a natural nine, in which case it's an automatic tie and the game's over. So if a natural eight or nine is not hit on either side, then there are usually more cards dealt on one or both sides. Uh, there are some exceptions to this though. Uh, so for example, if um, there's a total of six on one side and a total of seven on the other side, the game is automatically over, but technically that isn't a natural win. Um, and there are many situations where based on the total of the first two cards, only one side gets cards. Um, the maximum number that could be dealt on any side is three. And the rules of when either the player or the banker hits or stands can be quite complex as you might have noticed in my brief explanation uh, up until now. Uh, so they're better explained by this chart, uh, which I'm showing right now. So feel free to pause the video here and look over the chart to see all the different combinations uh, of when the player and the banker draw cards. Um, it is based on these rules for pulling the extra card in this chart that the banker does have a small advantage over the player. However, the way the house typically maintains their advantage is by charging a 5% commission on all banker wins. So when the commission is factored in, there is a house edge for the banker bet, and that is 1.06%, while the house edge for the player bet, which isn't charged commission, is 1.24%, uh, as per the, uh, the Wizard of Odds. Uh, you may have also seen some commission-free Baccarat tables. Uh, the house maintains their edge in commission-free Baccarat, typically by paying only 50% of the win total on any banker wins that total six. Um, there are other versions of commission-free Baccarat with different rules, such as easy Baccarat, where if the banker pulls a three-card seven for a win, then the bet pushes. Um, those are the only two that I've played, but there may be some other um, commission-free Baccarat variations. Um, since the player is already at a disadvantage due to the rules for when the cards are pulled, there is no commission on winning player bets ever. So there are also quite a few different side bets in Baccarat, some of which I think are pretty decent and fun to play. Uh, I play a lot of them myself, 
Uh, the most common side bet is the tie bet, and that's exactly what it sounds like. You're betting that both the player and banker hands are tied at the end of the round. Uh, the tie pays eight to one, typically. Uh, another side bet is the pair side bet, where you could bet on a player pair or a banker pair. Uh, so this means that if if there are two of the same card in the first two cards pulled for either the player or the banker, you win that bet. Uh, the pair, pair bet typically pays 11 to 1. Uh, another side bet is the dragon bonus side bet. This is my favorite side bet on Baccarat. And it pays based on the amount of points that you win the hand by and pays out when a hand is won by a minimum of four points. If you win by nine points, it actually pays 30 to one. So an example of how this works would be uh, if you bet on the player dragon bet and you have a pair of twos and then pull a five, you have a total of nine and then the banker pulls three face cards, which, which is three zeros. So you've won by nine points, nine nothing. Uh, in that case, the dragon bet pays 30 to one. So it's a pretty nice payout. Uh, in addition to that, natural wins are automatically paid one to one, regardless of the amount of points won by. So you don't get the 30 to one if you win with a natural nine versus uh, the other side having zero. Uh, here's a breakdown of all the payouts on the dragon bonus bet. Another two common side bets are the Panda 8, which pays 25 to 1 on a three-card player hand that totals 8, and the Dragon 7 bet, which pays 40 to 1 on a three-card banker 7. I've only seen these bets offered on commission-free Baccarat, and sometimes they go by different names, but they're all pretty much the same idea. Um, there are many other side bets in the game, uh, new ones coming out all the time. So if you come across a side bet that I haven't covered here, feel free to ask the dealer how it works. Uh, I hope this video helped explain the game of Baccarat just a little bit. And uh, I've linked my source in the description for you to check out and read further into the game if that's what you'd uh, like to do. Uh, so now let's watch and enjoy some of these awesome big Baccarat hits that have happened on the channel so far. Lose that one. Those are quarters. One hundred. Oh, zero, two, five, nice. There's not one, that's okay. Yeah. I see you, XR4. You might be on, you're, everybody's on slow mode though. We use slow mode here. All right, nice. Come on, don't reduce. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll throw 10 bucks on whatever you guys vote for. Once the votes come in. One and one. Oh, nice. So win by three points, so I lose the dragon. Or no, wait. Uh, oh no, I have five. What am I talking about? So I win by four, so I win by one. All right, 400 on the banker. Here we go again. And we'll throw 10 bucks on the dragon. Oh, the dragon has the most. All right, so we throw 10 bucks on the dragon for the side bet. There you guys go. Oh, zero. Zero. One. Yeah, six. Win by five points, two to one. Nice. My commission's probably over a little bit over 500. Yeah. All right, we are up to 500 on the banker. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, we're stacking those black chips up again. Come on, banker. One. Four, one, nice. All right, 600 on the banker, here we go. Big money, big money. Oh, three and 
one. Seven, something better. Oh, that was lucky. Oh my God. Super lucky. Uh, the commission is 5% of any banker wins. All right, we'll throw 10 on the dragon. Oh, thank you. Da -da 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 -da. Three, nine, yeah, I gotta love a natural. Thank you. All right, you know what, we'll do it. 1,000. You know, we'll just, uh, oh no, we gotta push my phone. <laughs> All right, player it is. Oh, yeah, there you go. Thank you, Ryan, for the $5 super chat. We get 1K likes on my birthday. Uh, on Sunday, April 4th, sing happy birthday to me. There we go, all right.